Hey guys, it's Excel and welcome back to some more Block Story. In this tutorial, I'm going to cover just how easy it is to kill the Dragon Lord. To be honest, the Dragon Lord isn't actually that hard of a boss. I mean, come on. I know a lot of people have been requesting it, but to me, he's actually one of the easiest bosses in the whole game. Holy! Before we get into this, we need to analyze this target and remember just how we got here. At the beginning of the game, Totally Not the Dragon Lord finds you laying on the beach and helps you recover by training you on how to survive in this mysterious world. Then Totally Not the Dragon Lord asks you to collect three different dragon spawners to add to his collection. In addition to my collection. After giving him all the dragons he needs, Totally Not the Dragon Lord surprisingly reveals that he is indeed the Dragon Lord in the most unexpected plot twist of all time. Who would have thought? Then he disappears and you have to find him. Gather a bunch of ender eyes to locate where he is, jump into the portal and enter the end. Destroy all the crystals and prevent him from healing and, oh wait, that's not right. Simply walk up to him and he will ask you if you want to join him. If you pick no, the fight will begin immediately. Or if you say yes, he will throw an unexpected gotcha in your face and fight you anyway. Before we fight him, let's look at the scale of this thing. So on closer inspection and careful analysis, I have come up with the conclusion that this beast is very long and it's very wide as well. Alright, now let's look at its attacks. The Dragon Lord has the ability to breathe fire, which is totally not an attack you've seen before, and it has the ability to launch fireballs that do more damage than the time my ex-girlfriend cheated on me. The Dragon Lord may look like one of the hardest bosses in the game, but the reality is that this boss is actually one of the easiest bosses in the game, as I will now demonstrate by one-shotting it using clever editing technique. Here's the thing, the Dragon Lord acts like he owns you, but that's where the problem lies. What you actually want to do is assert your dominance all over him and show him who is boss. There are a few techniques I have invented that clearly no one has ever thought of before that I will now show you all for the first time ever. These techniques are so good that I should be charging money just to show you how to do them, but I won't do that because I am a nice guy. So after watching this video, and if you're ever asked the question, who is the nicest person you have ever seen, you can be like, oh, it's Excel. He gave me his techniques for free. Anyways, here are the best methods of killing the Dragon Lord. A lot of people recommend several casual methods like flying around him in circles method. The riding dragon method. The overpowered character method. <laughs> and the cheating method, but that's not how we do it here. In fact, these methods hardly require a strong character at all unless you're like me and run into his fireballs on accident. If you are a newer player, consider your health, mana, and magic damage skills to be your most important skills. You will need at least 1000 health so you can laugh at his face when you absorb the fireball like you eat them for breakfast, have your mana at at least 1000 to 1500 so that you can fly around and not have a panic attack every 5 seconds from running out of mana, and you will also need a decent amount of magic damage. I would have at least 100 to 200 so you can heal yourself faster than the angel goblin can heal the swamp golem for you. If you are currently stuck on this boss fight and don't have these skill points ranked up to where I have them, don't worry about it. We will still own this fight and it will take less time than it takes for Ted to lecture you on why fishing is just so important in space. If you are in survival or hardcore, consider picking up the jetpack and farming visitors for some graviton. This will make your life 110% easier. It's also worth noting the Dragon Lord's levels scale depending on where you are from spawn. If you want an easier fight, go to where your original spawn location is. Another detail worth noting is that it's actually very easy for the other dragons to lose track of where you are. 
The Dragon Lord has the ability to see you from really far away compared to the other three dragons. So if you want the other three dragons to go away, gradually move away from the Dragon Lord and the other three dragons until eventually the three of them will go in their own separate ways like they completely forgot you existed. However, don't go too far away because you might despawn everything. Alright, grab your dragon armor and let's get started. Here are the best techniques for killing the Dragon Lord. The items that you will need for this method include life magic for healing, mana potions to regenerate your mana, jetpack and graviton if you are in survival or hardcore mode, a bow, fire arrows, TNT, and some duplicators. Duplicate the TNT until you can't anymore and make a few rings in the air. As you can see here, since I've measured the size of the Dragon Lord, I can assure you that this will be big enough. What you're going to want to do is make about four or five of these rings, spawn in the Dragon Lord, and trap him in a ring. Now take the bow with a fire arrow and simply light one of the TNT blocks on fire and watch the fireworks go. This one ring by itself did about 8,000 damage. You just need a few more of these rings and the Dragon Lord will go down easily. Let's move on to a much more efficient method. For this method, we are going to need life magic for healing, mana potions to continue flying and healing, a weapon that will hurt it, I recommend a ranged weapon like a gun or a bow with magic arrows, about 10 to 15 buckets of lava, some stone, and the jetpack and graviton if you are in survival or hardcore. First thing we are going to have to do is build us a structure. Remember that structure I made that failed to kill the mana wars? Yeah, we are going to make a longer version of that, and this time it will work, I promise. Make a little rectangle on the ground. Make sure the length is about 15 blocks long and about 6 blocks wide. Then add two poles on the sides and connect them across the top. These need to be tall enough so that the Dragon Lord can pass through it, so I'd recommend making it about 10 blocks high. Then we will have to dump lava across the top of it and make it flow down to the bottom. This took a while to showcase. Not because it took a while to build the structure, but because the test subject decided to run into the trap committing suicide before I could even summon his final form, forcing me to have to respawn everything all over again. Once the Dragon Lord is summoned, make him fly through the lava. You'll notice the lava actually makes him slow down and burn him at the same time. This also affects the two out of the three other dragons that he summons, leaving only the red dragon immune to this trap. Make sure you hit the Dragon Lord with a ranged weapon once or twice to get credit for the kill, and make sure he doesn't die in the lava either so you can get his drops. This is by far the easiest way to kill the Dragon Lord, and you don't even need an overpowered character to get the job done. I hope one of these two methods do you good. The Dragon Lord is surely one of the strongest bosses in the game. However, when you use one of these two methods to take it out, it becomes one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. If this video has been helpful, please feel free to share this video with other players who are struggling with the Dragon Lord so we can all own him together. Thank you so much for watching. Excel signing off.